If you don't like meatloaf, can we even be friends? Hey everybody, this is Chris Sussman, otherwise known as the Barbecue Buddha from BGE Team Green. And I want to thank Ron and Fogo Charcoal for featuring a recipe from my first book, The Bacon Wrap Meatloaf on Cedar Planks. It's an awesome recipe. Don't forget my new book, The Ultimate Big Green Egg Cookbook is out now. Order today. Thanks everybody. That's right. We're making bacon wrap meatloaf out of Chris Sussman, the Barbecue Buddha's cookbook, The Four Fundamentals of Smoking. I've made this meatloaf like a thousand times before, and it is phenomenal. It's got some great new twists on an old meatloaf, and we're gonna cook it on the big green egg. So you know it's gonna be good. Now let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna chop some onion. Our next thing is a quarter of a cup of diced water chestnut. Now the recipe called for three garlic cloves, so of course I'm using four. And now we're gonna saute this up a bit. Tell you what, one thing I do love is when I have to saute, I love these carbon steel pans. They work fantastic. Now we're gonna saute this up for a little while. Once it starts to get, get translucent, we're gonna add in a teaspoon of, it's supposed to be oregano, but I'm gonna use Greek Freak because I like the extra flavor. Then we're gonna add some chili powder, a teaspoon, and a teaspoon of cumin too. So, gonna saute this all together and just give it a good stir. The vegetables have softened already, so we're just trying to, get, trying to build the flavor. So we're just gonna saute this for one more minute and pull it off the heat. This is when we need that smell-o-vision. Okay, so that is done. Now we're gonna take this off of the heat and set it aside. Now we're gonna take a mixing bowl. We're gonna put all our other ingredients together in that bowl and squish it all up. Now the recipe calls for two pounds of ground beef. I happened to buy a pack that was four pounds, so I'm going to use exactly half of it. And to the meat, we're gonna add one cup of sharp cheddar cheese. Sharp being the key word there. We use a quarter of a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese and we always wanna shred our own. One half a cup of flour, right on top. Two eggs. A tablespoon of soy sauce. Just a sprinkling of kosher salt, maybe a teaspoon of kosher salt. And black pepper. And now the fun part. Mix and mix and mix till it's all fully combined. All right, now that we got it somewhat mixed up, we add in our onions mixture. Now we're gonna mix this up too. In Buddha's book, he actually uses a cedar plank for this, where you soak the cedar plank for like 30 minutes, you build the meatloaf on that. Well, I don't have a cedar plank, so we're not gonna use one. What I do have is this grill plate here. So the only thing I wanna do, I'm gonna give us a good coat of duck fat spray before we cook, so it's a non-stick surface. And now we're gonna build our meatloaf. Once we have our meatloaf on here, we wanna form it into a solid loaf, okay, an actual loaf. You also wanna make it about kind of similar size. You want it the same thickness all the way down. This way it'll cook nice and evenly. And now the icing on the proverbial cake is to cover it in bacon. I mean, good Lord, how bad can that be? So what we're gonna do here is in the front and the back, it's kind of smaller, so we're just gonna use a half a slice of bacon on the front, but just make sure, measure it out, cause I wanna tuck it under a little bit. Now, once you put it on there, we're gonna take these edges and just tuck them up underneath the meatloaf, just like that. All right, now look at that. That is just a beautiful thing. If I could be covered in bacon, I think I would. Not like this armadillo looking thing we have here. Today, I'm not gonna go through the whole opening the bag of charcoal and lighting the grill with you. The grill is already lit from a previous cook that we did. So I'm just gonna show you we're using our black bag premium charcoal, okay? Because we're doing it, this is only gonna cook for about an hour or so. We're not doing a long-term cook. If you wanna see how we open up our charcoal and how we light our grill, go to the last video or the one before that, 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 or the one before that. Until then, just trust me, we're using Black Bag Premium. Only one thing left to do now, cook this sucker. So, I'm gonna grab our grill plate, grab our bacon-wrapped meatloaf, throw it right on here, right in the center at 350 degrees, let it go for about 50 minutes to an hour, till that bacon's crispy. One thing I can tell you for sure, this ain't your mama's meatloaf. Nope, like we said before, it's Chris Sussman, the barbecue Buddha's meatloaf. This is in his first cookbook, he's actually got another one coming out too, so watch for that. You can find Chris on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere, the underscore BBQ underscore Buddha. He's a great guy. He's on BGE Team Green with me, and the man knows how to cook. So if you have any questions about your big green egg about cooking, feel free to reach out to him to, to him as well. He'll be happy to answer any questions. Meantime, we're gonna wait for this bacon to crisp up on top of this meatloaf, but we're gonna coat it up in this nice barbecue sauce, and it is gonna be good. Three. 50, by the way, that's what we're cooking at, 350 degrees, not 375, not 325, no, 350. 
Now, we were just talking here, and the book says to cook it for 50 minutes, but then we got into a temperature conversation. So, I want to make sure we're covering all bases. So, we're going to throw a meter thermometer in there. We're going to cook it to 160 degrees in the center of it. One, six, zero. So, all we do is throw our meter in here and set it up. All right, we're at the point now where we're gonna put a little barbecue sauce on. So, I'm just gonna pour a little in a bowl here. We're gonna use PS Seasonings El Jefe Adobo Barbecue Taco Sauce. You know, the meatloaf has cumin in it, it has chili powder, so we wanna kinda of stick along those lines. That's why I'm using this barbecue sauce. It's gonna be mwah, delicious. Look at all that bacon fat in the bottom. You can reuse all of that, you know. Barbecue Buddha bacon wrap meatloaf. There it is, folks. Only one thing I got to do right now, and don't be jealous because you can make this at home and you can do this too. So I'm cutting myself off a piece. Got to get that bacon on there. That is barbecue boo delicious. That is a fantastic meatloaf. I'm telling you, this is not your grandmother's meatloaf right here. Kicked up, elevated, whatever you want to call it. It's phenomenal. The barbecue sauce on top, forget about it. The crispy bacon, how do you go wrong? Anyway. That's awesome. I want to thank Chris Sussman and Barbecue Buddha for his inspiration for this. I've made this a bunch of times, and quite frankly, I just had to share it with you. He's got a new book coming out, but, you know, if you're not sure what to make, look for inspiration. Chris is a good friend of mine. I get inspiration from him. You never know where you can draw inspiration from. Wherever you find some, let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like what you saw here, leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Make yourself a meatloaf and have a bite of it. You won't be sorry, I promise you. If you see any of the products that we've used in this video that you might want to have more questions about, maybe you want to buy, there's a link below in the description, okay? But I'm going to go bring this inside. Me and the family, we're going to eat this to death right now, and that's about all I got. So I want you to remember to do one thing for me. Get out and grill, and I'll see you next time on The Fogo Life.